Hi. How are you? Hi, my name is Sarah and I am a catfish. Better crack on and do some makeup then, eh? Okay, so in the words of Nikki Tutorials, I am about to Optimus Prime my face and I'm using Smashbox Photo Finish. So I'm just gonna put some lip scrub on and this is the Bubblegum Lip Scrub from Lush. So if you didn't know, my last video was actually a Lush subscription box unboxing. I did June's and July's. So I will leave the link to that in the description box below. Got some lovely, lovely bits and I do love Lush. <clears throat> so good. Oh God, I wonder if that's any calories. Don't have to point that. So this is just some Clarins lip oil that I like to put on after I've scrubbed my lips just to make them a little bit softer and uh, give them a little bit of juice. Okay, next up for eyebrows, I use this. You're probably not gonna be able to see it. I'll try and insert a picture. Um, so this is what I use. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hill Dip Brow. Um, this is the pomade in dark brown. That's the colour there. It's a very nice texture. So I'm just going to go ahead and do my brows. I'm not going to bother showing it on this um, video because I have a whole tutorial of how I do my brows. So I will link that up here or down in the description box. So if you want to learn how I do my eyebrows and you want to get a step-by-step -step guide, then go ahead and check that video out. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do my eyebrows now. Right, okay, so the eyebrows are on. Um, they are looking a bit like long lost cousins at the moment instead of sisters, but they're on. I'm going to smarten them up now anyway with a bit of P. Louise. Um, but what I do want to do is actually have my eyebrows tattooed on because when I go like for instance on a school run I don't wear makeup so I look quite ill I think and when I go out like my everyday life I'm not wearing makeup. Um, so if I could have my eyebrows just on I think that would help. So I'm looking for someone. I am in the UK and I'm looking for someone that would be willing for me to film the process of having them tattooed um, so if any of you are watching and you're in the UK and you know somebody that is good at eyebrows and are happy for me to film let me know in the comments down below or PM me because I um, yeah I'd be really interested in having a word with them right so I am just going to tidy the brows up a little bit now with the P Louise base in shade 0.5 I use this across the whole of the eyelid um, and then what happens is when the pigment from the color goes on it gives it true color so this is why I use this shade and what I do is I take it right into the inner corner and just down here a bit just for a bit of colour correction because I get quite dark around these areas um, so this should cover up them dark circles. Ooh, it's a spider! Oh I knew there was going to be spiders in here. God I hate them, I hate them. Can you believe that? Boulder's brass just walked across my table like he owned the joint. Who does he think he is? So this is the palette that I'm using. So it is the Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival. This is the XL Pro palette. So this is the slightly bigger one. Um, and this is what I've got to choose from. So what I do think I'm gonna do is just take some of the shades down here. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll take some of these shades. I'll ha I'm gonna have a bit of a play about with it. I don't know, I'm gonna have a play, see what comes. We're, ju we're just winging it. We're gonna wing it, like my life. We're just gonna wing it and we'll see what happens. So I'm just gonna start with this shade here, Makeup. So I'm just going sort of back and forth in the window wiper effect. Um, and also I'm gonna do little rings as well. Just to make sure this is all packed on quite nicely and all quite fresh and there's no spotting anywhere. And we wanna make sure it's all blended nicely. Oh, that is such a pretty color. 
You see that? Maybe I'll just zoom you in. Ready for my close-up, Mr. DeVille. See that? Pretty. Oh, she's pretty. Oh, she's a pretty pink. Right, okay, so my battery died. So I've just done the same on the other eye, which is the shade Makeup. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the shade Persuasion. And it's just gonna darken up that bit slightly because I wanna add some dimension. Okay, so I'm just going a bit lower. So guys, we've been looking for a puppy and I absolutely adore French Bulldogs. I have wanted one for years, but I know they have a lot of health problems. So that's the only thing putting us off, but I don't know. But like, we've been looking at other breeds as well. Um, and I have found somebody that has got a puppy and it's a an old English Bulldog. Um, so not a, not a Bulldog, an old English Bulldog. Um, so we're thinking maybe to go with that because they don't have the health problems that Frenchies do. But do you know what? Every time I see a French Bulldog, I just think, I love it. I love it. So um, I don't know what to do. I don't want to buy a dog that's going to cost me a fortune in vet bills. But also, I don't want to just settle for a dog that I'm not, or I'm always gonna think, oh, but I wish I had a Frenchie. Do you know what I mean? So, I'm a little bit torn at the moment. I don't know what to do. Okay, so I wanna darken the outer corners. So I'm gonna take a bit of the shade Influence and I'm gonna mix it with Reckless just to darken it up slightly more. Um, and I'm just gonna pop this on the outer corners here and drag it in. Yeah, I'm liking this. So I've just finished watching Queen of the South and I loved it. I cannot wait for the next season. Um, but oh my God, Pote, I love him. Oh, like everybody needs a Pote in their life. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend that you do. It's, um, it's about a drug cartel um, and it is about the way uh, one of the, well, she's like a cartel boss and how she became that boss. And it's like, as, as if it wasn't even intentional for her, she wasn't even supposed to really be in it, but she sort of got dragged into it. Um, and she's just like so much of a badass that she, did I actually just say badass? She's like so hardcore that she's like made her way to the top. Um, and it is her, it's, she's very fair. She's a very fair lady. So it's, you like, you're rooting for her. Although it's like the cartel, you're rooting for her to like uh, do well. Um, but she has this man that is like her bodyguard and his name is Pote. And oh, I just love him so, so much. Um, honestly, if you watch it, you'll fall in love. He's just amazing. He's such a brilliant character. Um, so yeah, we've, I've just finished watching that. Um, and I think tonight, I am going to start um, the second series of the Umbrella Academy. So I watched the first series and I loved it. Um, so now I'm going to start the second series and I can't wait to see like what happens. Um, so that is going to be good. And I, I finished watching um, Lock and Key. Have you seen that on Netflix, Lock and Key? That is another really, really good program. Um, and I cannot wait for the second series of that to come out. Okay, so I'm going to take my P. Louise base again and I'm going to cut the crease. And I'm just going to do a half cut crease today because I really like this. So I start off here at the bottom, like this. And I look up. Okay, it's giving me the area that I need to carve. Okay, and then I'm going to take this shade here, Fortune. I'm going to go over the top of that cut crease. I'm just going to take this tiny little one here. This is a Zoeva Detail Shader 237. So that's how that one's looking. 
And then what I do is I take this one and I go back over where this one meets in the middle just so that I can blend. So you don't want there to be like a harsh line, you want it to blend nicely. Oh, them two colours together are gorgeous. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same on the other eye. Okay, so you know I'm extra AF, so I'm gonna use some NYX glitter glue and some loose gold glitter that I've got and I'm just gonna dab a few, a few little bits over, just for a little extra sparkle. So this eyeliner here is the NYX Vinyl. It's my favorite liner. I'm just gonna coat my lashes with some Better Than Sex mascara. That's just so when I put my false eyelashes on, you're not gonna be able to see where my real ones are. Okay, so for lashes, I'm just gonna pop these ones on. These are from Primark. As you can see, they're just five pounds. They are the 3D Silk Lashes and they're in the style baby doll. Right, so the eyes are done for now, so I'm gonna take my foundation. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Yeah, so this foundation is definitely too light for me now. Um, I desperately need to go shopping. Right, so I'm gonna um, contour. So with the lightest shade, I use this one here, and this is Tarte Shape Tape. Um, this one is in the shade Fair. Okay, and I'll take my Beauty Blender again. Okay, and I'm fully aware this is very heavy, this makeup. <laughs> I think it's because I've been watching Whirlpool's Shag Race. Okay, and I've got this contour stick from um, Primark, and it is just their range. So PS, my perfect color foundation stick, and I got it in the shade Char. As you can see, it's very dark, so I only need a little bit of it. and I'm going to blend that out. Before I go any further, I'm going to do under my eye and I'm going to use that makeup shade that we used first time round. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back in with the dark shade of Persuasion. But I'm only going into about here. I'm not going any further. I want this to be very light. Now I'm just gonna use a white eyeliner pencil, just in my waterline, just to make it nice and bright. finish that off I'm going to put some mascara on my lower lashes but I'm going to go in with a bit of blush and this is the NARS and it's in the shade orgasm I love this color and this is just going to bring a bit more color back to my cheeks and my face okay I'm going to stick some highlighter on um, this is the brand Ofra and it is the Nikki collab so this one is called glazed donut Okay, because the eyes are so bold, I'm gonna do a nude lip. So this one here is MAC, and it is called Spice. I'm just bringing it in slightly because I wanna give it a bit of dimension. So this is my favorite, and it's such a cheap little um, lipstick. It's just the one by Primark. So it is called what is it called um uncovered and it's just the most beautiful nude and it smells really good too
Okay, so I just wanna put some lip gloss over the top just to give it a little bit extra. Mm. Um, and this is the Filler Instinct Pumping Lip Gloss by NYX. It's like a nude with like flecks of gold in. Okay, so now I need to do something about my hair and I can't really go out in a nightie, so. That's better. Right guys, that is the end of my video. Thank you so much for sticking with me. If you haven't already done so, please do hit that subscribe button down below and I will see you guys on my next video. Mwah. <laughs>